Hello, I'm Abel, and I'm going to be talking about this brass instrument, which is called the euphonium and also sometimes called the baritone. So the word euphonium is derived from the Greek euphonos, which means sweet voiced or beautiful sound. The instrument makes sound by buzzing or vibrating your lips and blowing air through the instrument like so. Some brass players talk about how the mouthpiece is the real instrument, and all of this is just a big amplifier that admittedly does make it sound a lot better. The euphonium has a similar range and sound as the trombone, with the main differences being that the euphonium has valves and the trombone has a slide. The other difference is that euphoniums have much larger, rounder tubing, while trombones have much narrower tubing, which means that euphoniums have a darker and richer sound quality. However, when euphonium players are asked, what's a euphonium? They'll usually say that it's a small tuba, because tubas, while they're an octave lower, they also have valves and this, a similar rich sound quality to the euphonium. Some euphoniums just have three valves, but most have four. The fourth valve is usually down here to be played with the left hand, but it's sometimes up top next to the other three. The fourth valve is very useful for playing in the lower range of the instrument. I would encourage you to play the euphonium because it's a beautiful instrument, as the name meaning implies, and it's a lot of fun to play as a solo instrument and fun to play in ensembles because the euphonium plays melody, counter melody, accompaniment, and bassline parts, sometimes all within one piece. Euphoniums are most typically seen in concert bands, also called wind ensembles, but some orchestra pieces like Holst's The Planets use euphonium. Euphonium players also play in marching bands on a similar but slightly more compact instrument called the baritone, and that can be a lot of fun. Thanks for listening, and I hope you consider playing this wonderful instrument. Thank mm -hmm. you.